Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk to you about this Freedom Fi 5G indoor bundle that I picked up and I ordered it from Cal Chip Connect. I placed my order within 48 hours. I had everything on my front step. So a thumbs up to Cal Chip for their quick shipping. As far as the indoor bundle, two main components. You have your gateway, which is really your uh, HNT miner or hotspot. If you're watching this, most likely you do own uh, an HNT miner hotspot. So uh, once again, not much changes as far as the setup here, and you are familiar with what this gateway does. So when you look at it, it's still you're still earning your HNT by providing the LoRa coverage. So this gateway is actually gonna replace my OG Helium miner that I've had running for a couple years. And what's cool about this gateway is that not only is it doing everything that your HNT miner does, but it also integrates with the CBRS radio from Freedom Fi in order to also provide the 5G cellular coverage as well as data. The setup was incredibly simple. Out of all the HNT miners that I had set up, this one was certainly the quickest. Going through the app, there was no hiccups whatsoever and even getting it onboarded and synced to the blockchain was much faster than I've experienced with other HNT miners in the past. On Freedom Fi's website, there is a setup guide, both for the gateway as well as the CBRS radio. I followed it step by step, extremely easy, super detailed, painless process. But what I'll do now is just take you through that process and I'll show you how I got this Freedom 5 5G indoor bundle set up. So if you're interested, keep watching. So I have the layout here of the Freedom 5 5G bundle, the gateway, the radio, the GPS unit, and of course some cables. Now this isn't my permanent setup location. I usually do this when I'm setting up and testing new gear. I make sure that uh, everything's good to go, and then I'll go ahead and mount everything in its permanent location. So luckily the setup went well, and I figure since I have everything here in front of me, rather than being in my attic where I'm going to be in a cramped space, I figured that it was best to make this video with this current layout because it'll be that much easier for me to show the process. If you haven't yet, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and download the Helium app whether it's for your iOS device or whether it's for Android, you wanna get that set up, create your uh, seed phrase, get your 12 or 24 words, get that all set up. The app does a great job of walking you through it. If you need more information on that, you could watch one of my previous videos on uh, setting up Helium Miners because it really does work the same exact way. So I had previously already set up my gateway and this is the actual gateway here and it's all set up and good to go. But taking you through the process, you want to make sure that there's no power going to anything. First thing you're going to do is install your antenna. As I mentioned, this is just a setup for testing purposes. I'm going to hook up my external antenna uh, pretty much as soon as I'm done with this video and affix everything to its permanent location. So once you do have your antenna hooked up, next thing you want to do is hook up your patch cable. All right, uh, whether it's Cat6, Cat7. Make sure that you connect that to the WAN port. Okay, and from the WAN port, that is going to be going into your home router. I needed to get an extra cable uh, because the bundle only came with one patch cable and I was using that for the actual radio. So I did have to get another patch cable, but luckily I have a bunch laying around the house and was able to hook that up. So from here, we're going from WAN to your router. Third thing you want to do is hook up your power adapter which comes with uh, two different things you actually have the uh, the adapter and then the actual plug that goes into your electricity and from there you're going to put it right into this little dc plug to be able to power up your unit from there you do nothing else don't hit the power button don't hit anything else all right and what you're going to do now is go to your helium app okay so from here you're going to go to your helium app just like you would for any other uh, hnt hotspot or minor, and you're gonna go ahead and click on the little plus button to be able to add your gateway. From there, you're gonna select Freedom Fi, and you're just going to follow the directions. Relatively simple, there is a QR code on the bottom that you're gonna end up scanning with the Helium app. It's gonna bring you to the Freedom Fi website, and from there, you're gonna be able to do some more configuration, and then it'll 
bring you right back to the Helium app so that you could go ahead and finish your setup. Once again, fairly simple. Not going to spend too much time on that because, uh, once again, the app does a great job. So I don't need to really harp on that any further. While you are performing the pairing and the setup in the Helium app, it will ask you to go ahead and press the power button so that you can pair your unit as it's searching through the uh, software. So now that we have our gateway set up and online, next thing I want to do is actually set up the 5G unit or the actual CBRS radio. Now, as I mentioned, this isn't the permanent location I'm actually going to mount this. It does come both the gateway and the radio itself do come with mounting brackets to make it easier to mount on the wall or wherever you want to, giving you more space and uh, also letting it cool off a little bit better so it's not crowded with other electronic equipment. And uh, also better placement because it's going to be closer to my external antenna so I won't have to uh, perform another run for the gateway itself. So first thing that you want to do here is there is a GPS attachment that you're going to want to go ahead and make sure it's powered down, no power of course, and you're going to want to connect the GPS. You're going to have to get a GPS lock on this unit so it needs to find GPS in order for everything to work and to function. This is the small GPS unit with a ton of cordage. So that gives you some flexibility as far as mounting. And they do suggest to have it near a window so that you can get better clearance for your GPS unit so that you can get and maintain that locked status on your GPS location. So from there, all I'm doing it is putting this on the windowsill. This GPS unit does have a little magnetic backing, so it will stick to metal. And it also comes with this double-sided tape that you could go ahead and stick on. So you have some flexibility there, uh, depending on your needs. Next thing that we want to do is take your patch cable and connect it to the WAN port on the CBRS Freedom Fi radio. And from there, you're going to connect the other end. And on the gateway, you're actually going to connect it to this ENB1 port. And the next thing that we want to do is actually hook up the power to the CBRS radio. Now you have two choices. There is actually a power cord that you can hook it up with the power cord, or you could also power it over ethernet. So you can take your pick from those two options. Now, once it is powered up, you're gonna see these lights. Initially, it'll take a few minutes. This unit did reboot on me two or three times. So you wanna make sure those three lights are completely hooked up. So once you're pretty much fully powered up, these three lights will be green. There is a fourth light, which was lit before, but since I unplugged it for this demonstration, it's off now, but should most likely come back in the next couple minutes. And that light needs to be blue. If it's not blue, you're going to have issues. Most likely it's your GPS. That's not getting a lock location. You might need to move that around, uh, get better coverage for it or more uh, closer to a window line of sight, things of that nature that we're kind of familiar with from setting up our uh, helium miners. And once that turns blue, as far as the LTE light, you know that you're good to go. Now there's also a URL that you'll be able to check. Once you connect to your own network, you can go to it. I'll place the link below. And it's just going to your local network, dialing pretty much into the gateway and into your radio. And it just lets you know if you're good to go, if everything's connected. And if there are any issues, you can uh, see them listed there. And also if you need uh, upgrades on your firmware, things of that nature, that'll also be found there. Once again, I'll place the link in the description below. So that's pretty much it for the whole setup. Pretty painless, as I mentioned. The initial setup for everything from unboxing to get everything going was probably about 20 minutes. And that's even with the Freedom Fire rebooting a few times. And uh, what took the longest, I'd say maybe about four hours or so for me to actually get that blue light stating that I do have the GPS lock. So that took a little bit longer, you know, to be able to sync and then do whatever it had to do to get online. But the rest was relatively painless. And the only thing that's really left is to go ahead and add a compatible phone, which is something that I will definitely cover in the future, as well as other Freedom Fi uh, information. So if you are interested in that, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, let me know what you want. Comment below, and I will do my best to try to bring that information to you.